I welcome you to this channel, Secrets of Health TV. And if today happens to be the very first time you are watching us, uh, kindly subscribe to the channel and do not forget to click on to the notification bell. Select all so that anytime we come your way with videos such as this one, you'll be the very first person to get notified. And don't forget to like this video, share to your friends and family and people around you, and then leave your comment under the comment area. Today, as you can see, I have with me, you know, this powerful plant you can see uh, on your screen. And you can identify the plant with this, you know, yellowish flower. Yes, check it out. Yes, you can identify it with this yellowish fl flower. And then you can also, you know, identify it also with the texture of the leaf. When you pick the leaf and then you, you squeeze the leaf like this, you realize that uh, it will be slimy. Uh, it is very, very slimy. Uh -huh, very, very slimy in nature. So that is how you can identify the leaves with. It has a very strong, you know, root. Yes, very, very strong root for that matter. Very, very strong. And if you are not even fit enough, it will be difficult for you to uproot the whole plant. Yes. And because of this, here in Ghana, we call it Obrane etu ata. Obrane etu ata. Obrane here in, in tree uh, is, is a giant. Okay. A giant. A tu. A giant has uprooted and has fat. The giant has uprooted and has fat. Because the giant, we all know that giants are very strong people. So when a giant is uprooting, uprooting this, uprooting this, you know, plant and at the end of the day, he end up, you know, releasing gas farting it tells you how strong the plant is you understand so it is not the plant for the week uh in english you, you we call it cedar acuta plant cedar acuta plant or broom plant broom plant or broom weed okay broom weed in nigeria they call it broom weed cedar acuta plant here in ghana it is called treta or obrane etu ata uh, in today's video, I am going to run you through uh, two, a two most important, you know, benefit, physical benefits and then spiritual benefit. Meaning, I am going to tell you how you can use it physically to make yourself a man if you are a weak person or if you are a two seconds man. Okay, so if you are a two seconds man and always your your partner is crying, your partner is not happy with your performances in the other room and you are looking for something that can help you you know power perform very well uh if you bypass the root of this plant i think you have done a very disservice to your own self because the root of this plant has proven to be one of the most powerful and the most effective you know uh effective plant you can use as a man to work to increase your performance so i'm going to tell you how to use the root to uh, to do that and then i am also going to tell you how you can a preg pregnant woman uh, a pregnant woman can use the leaf to what uh, to have a very safe delivery very 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 safe delivery yes that is why uh goats and sheep don't feed on this thing mm -mm. it will be very difficult to see a goat and sheep feeding on this thing on a normal day mm -mm. the only time a goat or a sheep will be feeding on this plant is when uh, the female goat is pregnant or the female sheep is what is pregnant you understand and they know the reason why you know they feed on it when they feed on it it helps them to have a very safe delivery you and i know that animals like goat sheep and other the rest of the animals uh, they don't go for atenetal anytime they are pregnant. You and I know that. Or have you seen any uh, hospital for you know for, for 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 pregnant animals? No, I'm not speaking about veterinary. I'm speaking about you know atenetal, antenatal. Okay, even the veterinary self. How many animals are privileged to to be sent to veterinary? Unless if the animal happens to come from a rich home. Mm -hmm. that one the, the animal will be sent to veterinary but not but you know this part of you know our our world africa here you understand so 
they what they feed on it anytime they are pregnant just to help them you know uh, deliver very very smoothly and please uh before i continue uh you those who always complain that our videos are long and we should be going straight to the point let me use this opportunity to to to, to advise you you see uh, it takes time it takes money it takes a lot of sacrifices you know for us to shoot one content one video we we don't do reactions on people's video that is laziness laziness in content creation as a content creator you need to always come out with a fresh ideas so if we come here and then we shoot a video uh, you don't determine to us the number of hours or the number of minutes we should shoot, use to shoot the videos with we are here to help you what i'm doing is i'm helping you so if i'm helping you and you still think what i'm doing is not enough then you need to advise yourself okay you need to absolutely advise yourself okay you need to advise yourself please and in any case we have never spent one hour on our youtube videos before the the, the longest of our youtube videos you know is 30 minutes sometimes 25 minutes sometimes 20 minutes sometimes 15 minutes sometimes 10 minutes and so on and so forth so please when you see our videos like this you know consider the stress we pass through in shooting the video and stop complaining uh, some of you can you know spend 90 minutes one hour 30 minutes you know sitting you know on television watching football match or watching movie one hour 30 minutes of your time yet you won't, you won't learn anything from it all you will have to do is go shouting and so forth and so on and so so something that can help you you know for the rest of your life it can even help someone you know around you you don't want to spend 30 minutes to enjoy it so please bear with us okay bear with us okay all right thank you very much let me continue so uh Pregnant women as well can use this to, uh, to have a very safe delivery. Now, when you come to spirituality, it is also very good in what? In protection. It is also very, very good in protection or for protection. I hope you understand. So if you are looking for something that you can use, a herbal, a herbal plant that God has installed, you know, a protection energy, a protection vibration in it, this is one of them very 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 powerful so uh be with me and then um I watch the video from the beginning all the way to the end and i can assure you that you will be blessed and you will learn a lot about this cedar acuta thank you very much now let's begin if you are a man and your performance in the other room is not going on well uh, i wouldn't want to touch temper with this one so I have them plenty here so let me let me uproot some of the what some of the root okay so let me uproot some of the root for you to see yes so if you are a man and you don't want any you don't want any problem with your performance in the other room uh, this thing you can find it virtually everywhere here in africa mm? virtually everywhere it grows along the road, it grows on the streets, people's backyard, and so on and so forth. It's very, very, <laughs> yes. Yes, I have uprooted it. Yes, so this is the root. Mm. This root is very, very powerful. You see, you see why it becomes very difficult for you to take it. Mm. You see the reason why it becomes quite, quite difficult to, 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 to uproot it because it what? It 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 travels across the earth. Okay, this is the main route. But look at the sub route, which is traveling beneath the earth. So sometimes it catches the earth. So when you are putting it, ha, you need to be very strong before you can uproot it. Now, the way it is very strong, it is the same way when you start drinking the tea or if you start chewing it as your chewing stick and then you swallow the juice that is the same way your manhood your joystick is going to be strong it will be strong like a stone or like a metal yes your joystick or your manhood will be strong like a metal 
nothing can stand it yes that is how it works all you need to do as a man you have two options of using it hmm? you have two option options of using it when you get get, get it like this you can cut it eh? you can cut it from away from the from the root itself or from the plant itself like this okay you can cut it from the plant itself like this okay okay hmm. please share the video hmm? share the video and subscribe to the channel please share the, the the video and then subscribe to the channel okay yes so so this is the root as for this one you can decide to chew everything if you are boiling it you can cut everything together this is the main root you understand hmm. so you wash this thing with you know salt water salt water because so that it can disinfect the the, the microbes and other unwanted substances from it you know animals and so on disinfect it with salt water clean it very nicely then you can what you can start chewing it as your normal chewing stick as a man uh, you can chew one one chew one root in a day no problem or you can chew twice two two roots in a day no problem that is option number one chew it for at least continuously for two weeks and see how your performance in the other room is going to be as a man and then again another option of using this thing is by cutting plain getting plenty of it of it and get as many as you can of it this plant is everywhere and nobody need it this one yeah, even if it is in there even if it is it, it has covered the whole land and you go and then you start taking it or you start uprooting it no one will come and caution you you understand because it is a wild plant no one sometimes people even hire people pay them to uh, to to weed it off so nobody likes it so all you need to do is to go fetch as many as you can pick the root part of it and then bring it home wash them nicely then you cut them into smaller pieces then you can dry them in your room for some days after it, after some days or after it has been dried you can then do what you can then uh, start boiling it as a tea as your normal tea okay you pick maybe a handful of the root and then you you boil it with about 500 ml of water for 10 minutes after that your tea is ready you can divide it into two drink some in the morning you drink some two in the what in the evening morning and evening morning and evening morning and evening and i can assure you that your 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 thing or everything is going to be okay with you no two ways about it very 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 powerful very 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 powerful so that is that is that now uh we are done with the manpower okay so if you are a man and your performance in the other room is not going on well go and practice it as i've just said now if you are a pregnant woman and you want to have a very safe delivery you want to have an interrupt an uninterrupted you know delivery without any complications all you need to do is to come fetch you know some of the leaves when you get into your eight month huh? you, you start drinking the tea of this in your eight month okay mm -hmm. you start drinking it in your eight month yes thank you very much for watching the video all the way to this time uh, i can see you are very serious and you want to learn and indeed i will teach you so when you get into your eight month eh, when you get into your eight month you can fetch as many as the what the leaves hmm? you can fetch as many as the leaf like this okay you can fetch as many as the leaves like this so a handful like this will go with about 600 ml of water or 500 ml of water add little ginger to it maybe a piece of ginger like this wash it crush it and then add it to this one and then pour onto it about 500 to 600 ml of water as, as a pregnant woman boil it when you boil it for 10 minutes after that it is ready you divide it into two you bring some in the morning you bring some in the evening morning and evening morning and evening every day you, you what every day you boil it continue to drink it till you enter your ninth month yes continue to drink it until you enter your knife so you are going to drink it for one good month until you enter your knife month when you enter your knife month you realize that things have you know things have you know changed 
and everything is okay. So you realize that in your ninth month, that pains, child labor pain or child delivery, the pains associating with child delivery will what will reduce by at least 40 50 percent. Yes, it will never reduce to hundred zero percent. No, as for child, as for pains in child delivery, uh, is is something natural. Every woman must must feel that pain, must, must go through that pain. It is like death. Every human being will pass through death before he or she goes to the other world. Okay, the difference between this world, physical world, and then the the the, the hereafter world are this are they are all the same, but the difference is that when before you cross to the hereafter world. You need to pass through some pains and the pain comes from where the soul is what is is going out from the body this body is like um it's it's like a, a thing or it's like a, a shell okay uh -huh. so when the soul is moving away from the what from the body uh, the person will experience certain pains uh -huh. so that pains it's also natural you cannot beat it you cannot you know um do anything about it the same thing applies to pains associating with child delivery women normally suffer so but when you when a woman when the woman keeps using this thing this you know um um part of the this leaf uh in her eighth month when she gets to the ninth month, she is going to have a very safe delivery with no complications, and the pains associating with uh, with the with the child delivery to will reduce by at least forty to fifty percent, and everything is going to. Be. So that is also by way of you know child delivery in what in pregnant women. Now let's jump straight into the spiritual aspect. Now, as I indicated earlier. Uh, everybody before you can move on well in life you need to be protected by almighty god because almighty god he is the creator of the universe he created anything in this world including the plant including you and i including anything you see under this planet it is god who created it so when god was creating some of these leaves because he knew that protection is very very powerful is very very important he installed some vibrations into some of these plants and it is it is not only this plant other plant he installed some vibrations in these kind of plants protection vibration so when you know how to use it properly as i'm going to tell you uh, god himself is going to protect you and no one can touch you no one can harm you unless he god decide so i hope you understand so everybody need spiritual protection we all know physical protection when when where you can go and hire a, a security guard personnel to come and be protecting you protect your house you can just go and then um, um uh, buy cct cctv camera and then install it across your house watching everything for your security you can go and then buy a, a, a bulldog who will be protecting who will be shouting barking against you know uninvited guests and so on and so forth <clears throat> you can do all these things physically but if you don't fortify yourself protect yourself spiritually you will be found wanting you will be you will be laughing at the wrong side of your mouth because as you are moving around as you are going and coming with your life some people sitting somewhere don't like your progress some people sitting somewhere don't like to see you going forward so automatically they will have to do something to what to bring you down and some of the ways they normally use to bringing you down is by way of you know taking you to shrines you know doing some black magics juju casting spells on you and so on and so forth i have been telling people on social media that 
be very very careful with your private life on social media if you are someone who always you know tell people everything about your private life on social media such a person you are like a cotton wool you know a cotton wool is so you know strengthless to the extent that even air uh, a, a, just a blow of an air what will move a cotton wool will be what will be roaming with a cotton wool because of how light a cotton wool is very 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 light so you'll be as lighter as a cotton wool if you are someone who always puts out there your private lives some people even if they are eating eh, they are eating they will just snap a picture of it and then put it on their whatsapp status or put it on their social media platform okay they think that they are they are they are trying to impress the people out there and little did they know that uh, there are some people who will see this this enjoyment you are enjoying and would want to be would want to uh, they will wish they, they they were the one in your position and as for that matter they can go somewhere and then destroy your life and at the end of the day you will become just like them so you need to be very very careful with your life especially on social media now you can do whatever you like on social media but something that bothers your privacy your real life your actual life be very very careful with it otherwise you don't know where your attackers are coming they, they coming from so that is why i am entreating each and every one of you watching this video that you should go get some of these things hmm? leaf cedar acuta leaf or brani etuata when you get it get plenty of the leaves like this get plenty and this time around you don't need to uproot it you only need to take it but make sure you you always pick it together with the what with the branch don't pick only the leaves mm -mm. pick to get everything together with the branches and then get a bunch like this or as many as you you, 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 you want you are going to take your bath with it for seven days so get as many as you can and then you bring it home when you bring it home find a mortar mm? find a mortar and a pistol and then you what you put everything in there then you pound it when you pound it pound it and crush it to 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 particles after that you can then transfer it into your metal bucket metal bucket don't use rubber bucket use metal bucket okay use metal bucket so you can use stainless steel bucket you can use silver bucket you can use aluminium bucket you can use copper bucket you can use whatever so far as it is metal you are good to go but don't use rubber bucket so you transfer it into the rubber uh, the metal bucket uh, we used to have a certain bucket called bobrapa bobrapa okay bobrapa and then another bucket we used to have in those days was you know 34 size 34 bucket yes go and get some and then you transfer everything the the, the pounded leaf into the what the bucket and then you go look for well water the bula munsu well water and the mechanized the, the 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 manual well water don't use mechanized one unless the mechanized one you don't filter it or you don't add any chemicals in it if you don't add any chemicals into it you are good to go you can use that okay uh -huh. you use either well well water or borehole water or you can use um rain water you can tap a rain water the rain water to don't tap it from the from the zinger or from the roof tap it direct so when it is raining heavily you can just go and place your bucket you know in a plain area then you know the rains will fall directly into it you, you you harvest plenty of it and then you can use that or you can use sea water sea water or you can use uh, a waterfall waterfall or you can also use stream stream water running water mm, stream not gutter normal running water stream you can use this these are the waters you are supposed to you know use together with this so pour it 
into the bucket where this thing is inside then you what you fetch a handful of sea salt rock salt uh, rock salt when i say sea salt i mean rock salt uh, rock salt a handful you pour it in and then you leave it there you know then in the night what when it is night and you finish doing whatever you want to do you you you, you realize you, you won't go nothing will take you out again it is up it is up you are about to you know sleep that is where you can watch you can that is where you can i'm checking my microphone simply because i shot a full 25 minutes video not knowing i having on the mic so i had to reshoot it so this is you know uh, the second time i'm i'm shooting this yes so uh that is that so you what you 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 use you bath with it you bath with the water mm. when i say bathing you you don't use sponge and soap no you just take off your clothes you enter the bathroom then you you fetch some of the water you clean yourself with it you know everywhere make sure the water gets everywhere because you are bathing with it for seven days so after that you go out i uh, don't clean don't dry yourself with any towel allow yourself to dry naturally or you can on the fan or the air condition and allow you know yourself to dry naturally before you wear whatever you want to wear and then hit the hit the bed okay the next day you repeat the same thing till seven days seven night meaning seven night not seven days seven night because you'll be doing everything you know in the night there is no special word you you have to recite the only thing you can do unto it is to pray uh, you can pray that oh god you are the creator of the universe you are the master of mankind you created the herbs you created everything including me you created me you created everything god you created the herb this herb and you install this you know vibration protection vibration in, into it god as i'm about to take my bath with it please protect me from this protect me from that protect me from my enemies protect me open doors for me open you know financial breakthroughs you know give me luck give me this give me more money give me more riches give me more children give me this give me the fruit of the womb you know you can pray onto it don't go naked before you do the pray. pray before you go naked and go and bath okay uh-huh so that is and you have to pray outside don't go and be praying inside the bathroom pray outside okay pray god i am about to enter the bath house and to to, to bath with the the leaf you created the leaf you created that do do, do. give me this protect me that protect. after you finish then you take off your things enter the bath house and then go and take your bath okay so uh after you finish taking your bath in the seventh day you wait till morning in the morning the chaff uh, the leaf the chaff you find a very nice bush like you know this area place like this where they don't throw any refuse dump in it and then you throw it away over there then you are good to go by the grace of god you are fortified you are protected you can repeat this at least twice in a year uh, every six months you can do the same ritual and god is going to protect you always you always under the watch of almighty god it is only god we seek protection from we don't seek protection from any you know human being we don't seek protection from any deity we only seek protection from god almighty you understand Thank you very much for watching and i thank you also for uh, for staying being with me from the beginning all the way to this time and don't forget to subscribe to the channel click on to the notification bell select all so that anytime we come your way with videos such as this one you'll be the very first person to get notified like it share and then leave your comment under the comment section and until i see you again in the next one have a nice day and take good care of yourself bye bye